Hey everyone, Dave the Biomed here. I'm making a video or a longer form video of the short I made previously about on how to become a biomedical equipment technician or biomed for short. This will be applicable for field service engineers, field engineers that work for equipment manufacturers. There are three main routes or routes that I've seen firsthand from the last six years me working in this field. One of the first ones and probably maybe it's just me the most common one is military. Military especially in the electronics background are very transferable skills. This field particularly loves veterans and I'm more so speaking on the US side of things is which is where i reside i typically see a lot of the technicians or engineers do really well that have the military background because just the military does a really good job of teaching them the fundamentals of electronics and i forgot to mention there is kind of a fourth route route or route that can also get lead you to biomed we're going to jump back so the second one number two is an associate of applied science in biomedical technology so this is literally a degree that is geared towards the field we're talking about right now. So they prep you with hospital terminology, uh, A&P, which is anatomy and physiology, um, and then they really hound you down on some of the fundamental electronic uh, principles and rules and all that good stuff. This is what I did. I went straight out of high school to do this program. I graduated at uh, 19, turning 20 years old. I've got my first job as I turned 20 and it's been history ever since so I really recommend this if you're younger and you have the time and don't have a lot of responsibilities to do that formal training uh, or degree um, through a technical college or your local community college uh, kind of an honorable mention there is an online college I believe I'm not too sure I haven't I haven't checked recently but I think it's called College of biomedical equipment technology CBET which is kind of the same as a certified CBET certification deal which is a little bit confusing but if you just look up College of Biomedical Equipment Technology you should be able to find it easily on Google uh, go through the programs I think they offer a few different majors so I recommend that one if you're younger have no responsibilities and you can just be done by the age of 19 or 20 right after high school and be job ready the third option i think a lot of people end up stumbling in onto this field once they do this uh route of of education is they actually end up getting a four-year engineering degree uh, i've met some people that have like an, a four-year mechatronics electronics uh, electrical engineering uh, mechanical engineering i've even met a few that um ended up in biomed with uh, those degrees. I personally think it's overkill, but it's never a bad idea to be really well versed with all that knowledge. And then not not to mention, you can even almost, almost make your way into design and R&D uh, if you work for an equipment or OEM, which is an original equipment manufacturer. So a little bit of overkill, um, it's a lot of money, but you know it's not a bad deal i would recommend uh what is it a four-year degree if you were to go to the four-year route of engineering technology and then you can specialize in electronics or electrical and mechanical depending on the school and the difference between engineering technology and like a bachelor of science or they're all bachelor of sciences but in et electrical or engineering technology or ee electrical engineering is ET tends to be a little bit more hands-on, more applicable, more of your technologist, engineering technologist, what they call it. I looked really into this. However, I kind of found out that while I, I know a lot of the same fundamentals, uh, sure, they may know um, a little bit more than me in terms of the component level. I realize I have a lot of hands-on and applicable and like more of a applied science level, like I mentioned earlier and there's nothing wrong with either or uh it's almost like your electrical engineers and then your um, electricians you know electricians they've seen a lot of things firsthand whereas the engineering side is more theorized so there's like i said there's nothing wrong with what route you take uh but these generally take these generally can all lead you to the biomed 
or BMAT field in this industry. And I mentioned there is a fourth that's kind of an honorable mention. This kind of can cover all three options for you is if you have a back, uh, background in the military and not necessarily biomed, but you do understand uh, electronics. Like I, I met uh, so many that do, I'm not too well versed of this, but radar or like a lot of Navy guys um, come in and gals, they do an apprenticeship. So then they know the fundamentals, but then they learn more of the industry through the apprenticeship. So this can be even done with a four-year degree, even a two-year degree, if you're wanting to get more into something, a modality more um, specialized like medical imaging that requires a little bit more of a wider base of knowledge um, in physics. So this is a great option as well. Whichever path you take, the apprenticeship and internship are always an option. Uh, I threw an internship in there because I do recommend doing an internship during school just so you are a good prospect and kind of have an idea of what you're going to be facing in the real world out in the field. So yes, to cover that, there's are the three main paths I've seen or routes that I've seen biomeds take to get into our field. So number one, military, veterans, U.S generally loves veterans in this industry, biomed industry. And number two, the Associates of Science or Applied Science degree in biomed or electronics. And number three is a four year bachelor's engineering degree. So there you go guys. If you have any questions, please drop a comment and I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.